Do you know how many times I have said to Larry Chariton, my father, who I love, but happens to be a little deranged when it comes to politics, happens to watch a lot of Fox News, God bless him, uh, happens to like Donald Trump, I say, Dad, what are you, what are you, crazy? We already live in a socialist country. We have socialism for the rich in this country. That's what tax cuts and subsidies for ExxonMobil and Goldman Sachs and Raytheon and Northrop Grumman and uh, Boeing and Lockheed Martin and Pfizer. That's what all of these subsidies are. We already live in a socialist country. It's called corporate socialism. Well, Bernie Sanders is finally putting out this message, which he should have done more in 2016, but I digress. Here we go. Now, let us be very clear. While President Trump and his fellow oligarchs attack us for our support of democratic socialism, they don't really oppose all forms of socialism. They may hate democratic socialism because it benefits working people, but they absolutely love corporate socialism that enriches Trump and other billionaires. <clears throat> Let us never forget the unbelievable hypocrisy of Wall Street, the high priests of unfettered capitalism. In 2008, after their greed, recklessness, and illegal behavior created the worst financial disaster since the Great Depression, with millions of Americans losing their jobs, losing their homes, losing, losing their life savings. Wall Street's religious adherence to unfettered capitalism suddenly came to an end. Overnight, Wall Street became big government socialists and begged for the largest federal bailout in American history some $700 billion from the Treasury and trillions in support from the Federal Reserve. But it's not just Wall Street that loves socialism when it works for them. It is the norm across the entire corporate world. The truth is corporate America receives hundreds of billions of dollars in federal support every single year while these very same people are trying to cut programs that benefit ordinary Americans. If you are a fossil fuel company whose carbon emissions are destroying the planet, you get billions in government subsidies, including special tax breaks, royalty relief, funding for research and development, and numerous tax loopholes. If you are a pharmaceutical company, you make huge profits on patent rights for medicines that were developed with taxpayer-funded research. If you are a monopoly like Amazon, owned by the wealthiest person in America, you get hundreds of millions of dollars in economic incentives from taxpayers to build warehouses, and you end up paying not one penny in federal income taxes. If you are the Walton family, the wealthiest family in America, you get massive government subsidies because your low-wage workers are forced to rely on food stamps, Medicaid, and public housing in order to survive, all paid for by taxpayers. If you are the Trump family, If you are the Trump family, you got $885 million worth of tax breaks and subsidies for your family's housing empire that is built, was built on racial discrimination. When Trump screams socialism, all of his hypocrisy will not be lost on the American people. Americans know, will know, that he is attacking all that we take for granted. Say it, Bernie. Preach that shit. Preach that shit. Excuse my French. I just got demonetized. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't know who got in Bernie's head or ear to talk like this because he, he, 
I kept saying on the road in 2016, why isn't he saying we already live in a socialist country? I don't know if it's David Sirota, who's his new speech writer. I don't know if it's Fez Shakir, who is, is his new campaign manager. I, I don't know if it's Jane Sanders. Who, know, who knows? Who cares? This is the message that can win not just Democrats, but Republicans. Because people need to understand <laughs> which hearing that just gave me a thing for Bernie. <laughs> this message is universal. Nobody, nobody, unless you're a rich person, there is no person living paycheck to paycheck. I don't care if you're progressive. I don't care if you're conservative. I don't care if you're neoliberal. I don't care if you're uh, a marshmallow. There's no person that is down with, you know, never ending breaks to the corporate elite when we are called the takers by shitheads like Paul Ryan. You remember? Paul Ryan, oh, we're the takers. So if we're the takers, then I guess Goldman Sachs and them are, you know, the makers, right? When they take, when they take money they don't need, by the way, they're the makers of society. When we take, we're the moochers. This is the message. And I understand Elizabeth Warren is rising in the polls. I understand uh, there's a new YouGov poll out that the, that the corporate media is getting very excited about. It's, it's the, one of the first polls that she is uh, above Bernie Sanders. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. She is rising in the polls. But Elizabeth Warren cannot pull off this message. She just can't. Uh, it's not because she doesn't have some strong uh, policies. Uh, I don't think Elizabeth Warren is Hillary Clinton like some of you do. She's not my favorite candidate. I want Bernie Sanders. That's who I support. But Elizabeth Warren cannot pull off this message because Elizabeth Warren herself has said she's not a socialist. She be she's a capitalist, but she believes in regulated capitalism, which, frankly, is a little naive. Because you can't regulate capitalism without getting money out of politics. It cannot be done. You cannot actually regulate politics if the regulators are bought off, if the politicians are bought off, if the agencies are bought off, you cannot. So although uh, we cannot put our heads down in the sand, uh, I got to be honest, she is rising in the polls. Uh, it is something that the Sanders campaign obviously has to watch. Uh, I'm going to be report on it accurately. I'll probably monitor more polls to see if she rises more. Uh, one poll with her uh, in the uh, at one poll with her in second place and Bernie in third place to me does not make a you know game changing um, shift. But if there's many polls where she moves into second place, then I'm going to have to report on that obviously. Uh, but I also look at the state by state polls, and Elizabeth Warren is not uh, in a in as good of a as good of a position as Bernie Sanders is when you look at Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Bernie Sanders is beating Donald Trump by 10 to 12 points. Bernie Sanders is basically beating Donald Trump the same by the same margin as Joe Biden in those states. Elizabeth Warren is not. So you could show me national polls if you want. I want to see the polls in the states that are actually going to decide the election. So I'm not going to get so crazy that Elizabeth Warren is moving up in one poll. And I will tell you, I happen to think... Um, on a debate stage, I think Elizabeth Warren speaks well. I'm not going to sugar. I'm not going to say I don't. But I don't think Elizabeth Warren has the. I just don't think she has that it factor. And you could call me sexist if you want. It, it doesn't have to do with her 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 uh, gender. I just don't think she has that that transformative it factor that Bernie Sanders does. Um. Now, I mean, I've already told you, if it came down to Elizabeth Warren versus Donald Trump, this is not a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump situation, folks. Some of you might not like me saying that, but I would vote for Elizabeth Warren. She would be by far the most economic president, the most progressive president we've had in a very long time economically. Doesn't mean I like her on foreign policy. Doesn't mean I don't think she hasn't showed up uh, and has been MIA on a lot of things. But, you know, Let's not be extremists here and say if we don't get exactly what we want. No, Elizabeth Warren would be better than Donald Trump. But I'm not even getting into that because right now we don't have to. And I think, I think uh, 
this message of socialism and Elizabeth Warren choosing to say she's not a socialist. And by the way, Elizabeth Warren, uh, my new reporter, Marcus, uh, did a live stream earlier. He's new. Mangled a fact or two. So have I uh, in, in my career. Uh, so I reached out to him and gave him a few notes. But Elizabeth Warren is not exactly uh, so strong on Medicare for all. You know, at first she was a co-sponsor to Bernie's Medicare for all plan, but now slowly, like Kamala Harris and others, she's 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 for the idea of Medicare for all. That's the gu- that's the goalpost. That's what we want. But she's for you know, if we don't get it tomorrow, she's for you know steps to get to that. No, that's called incrementalism. That's called trying to have your cake and eat it too. We need candidates that are concretely no no hemming and hawing for Medicare for all. Period. That's the police coming for Elizabeth Warren because she's she's moonwalked on Medicare for all. She doesn't talk about it on the campaign trail. I don't even see it on her literature in her literature. So anyway, I was just pointing out. I'm not going to do a whole top video on it right now. Maybe I will later in the week. She is rising in the polls. We do have to, you know, it's legitimate. She is rising in the polls. However, one poll does not make a trend. So it's something to watch. But why I think that this speech today was so good, why I think this is so important, is because when Bernie Sanders is on that debate stage, he needs to make clear we already live in a socialist country, that Joe Biden favors socialism, that Kamala Harris favors socialism, that Elizabeth Warren favors socialism, that all of these candidates, they favor socialism because they're for Social Security, they're for Medicare for all. And frankly, I haven't heard a lot of these people You know, when it's convenient for them, they're against subsidies. I haven't heard a lot of these people propose legislation to end subsidies for Wall Street, to end subsidies for fossil fuel companies, to end subsidies for pharmaceutical companies, for big banks. Bernie Sanders has. Bernie Sanders has. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.